Suzanne Laglen, the first girl to make history in the field of tennis by winning 31 championships, 241 titles and also won 181 matches. And she was the only woman who got the name the goddess of the tennis. Owner, the tennis cup Suzanne Laglen was given to the champions. And so many stadiums had been opened in the name of Suzanne Laglen in the France. and google also celebrates her birthday as a google doodle now let's see her journey and its struggle to become the first great player in the tennis suzanne laglen born in france on 24 may 1899 was raised in a comfortable middle class family by her father charles and mother anais by the age of 8 at the age of 8 Suzanne showed early signs of athletic ability. She was an excellent runner, swimmer, and bicyclist. Once Laglen requested her father to buy a racket. Her father bought an inexpensive racket in the idea that her was a passion fancy, but her father found a keen interest of her in tennis, so he bought an expensive racket and a special backboard for her to practice. as there was not many instructors around so her father decided to teach her by himself his father observed the women of the time playing in a patient careful placement style of game he decided that it was not right for his energetic daughter so he taught her in the man style with the strength and the speed of men but in grace of women by the fall of 1910 charles laglen had enough confidence in his daughter to apply for a membership of famous tennis club at that time the excitement of her first match whole night she can't be able to sleep she was the first child to be given a provisional membership her father devised a training which included not only hitting the same shot over and over again until was perfected but also physical activities as jumping rope running wind sprints and swimming he also found male players to hit with her but this gives her very tired feeling is only 14 this made her the youngest winner of a major championship in tennis history a record she still holds the outbreak of world war first at the end of the year stopped most national and international tennis competition in europe and laglen's burgeoning career was put on hold for the next 5 years until Wimbledon in 1919 both parents motivated Laglen when she performed well and gave her love and rewards but when she did badly they cursed at her and insulted her in public her only escape from her parents resignment was to get sick so she did often after getting failure in few matches her parents stopped supporting her and this hard time she started practicing more and more and from there she never stopped and her journey to fame never ends but here one turning point came that she was already suffered from asthma and sometimes her health became very worse during this period legless only defeated in singles occurred in unscheduled appearance at the 1921 US Championship because without her permission to nominate officials had announced her participation in the US Championship in immense public pressure she agreed to play in the tournament despite suffering from what was diagnosed later as whooping cough as a concussion she was given a day to recover but to her surprise there was no seeding for the event and her name had been drawn to play Eleanor Gross a leading american player Gross immediately defaulted leaving Laglen to face Mallory in the second round as a first opponent in their match Laglen lost coughing and burst into tears unable to continue the crowd laughed at her as she walked off the court and the american press severely criticized her This war saint went under doctor's order after it was confirmed that she was afflicted with whooping cough. She cancelled her 
exhibition match. When she became healthy, she set a goal about preparing herself for redemption. In the singles final at Wimbledon the following year, she defeated Mallory in only 26 minutes, winning repeatedly the f- fastest ladies major tournament match on record. Slowly, slowly, she became very famous, but not only in France, but all over the world. Her number of fans increased in thousands and the line increased for tickets. Later in the year, Laglin seemed to be on course for her 7th Wimbledon singles title. However, Laglin unknowingly kept Queen Mary waiting in the royal box for her appearance in a parliamentary match. Laglin, who had been told that her match would not start until much later, she became very stressed when, when she was informed of her error, which was seen by aristocratic English attendees as an insult to monarchy. Leglin withdrew from the tournament, which would be her last appearance at the court of Wimbledon. In this period of time, Leglin wrote many books about the tennis, and in June 1938, Leglin was suffered from leukemia. And only three weeks later, she went blind. In July 1938, after a few days later, she died of pernicious anemia. Because of her, today tennis is an official game. Now, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for being updated. And share this video to your friends.